Hello, and welcome to the Installing Apex 3.2 to Oracle XE on Windows XP Professional tutorial. This tutorial is produced and owned by MS Consulting. This tutorial assumes that you have a working version of Oracle XE installed on the computer, that you have downloaded the Apex software, and that you have administrative rights on the XP system. In order to complete this tutorial, you need about 700 meg of hard drive space and the APEX software itself. The APEX software can be downloaded from the link on the screen and it's also listed as the APEX homepage. There is a full text tutorial that accompanies this video and its link is on the screen as well. So let's get started. First thing we need to do in order to install XE and Apex properly is we need to create a directory and extract the software. So we're going to go to our Explorer, we're going to go to our D drive because that's where I installed Oracle, and we're going to create a new directory. And I'm going to call this directory Apex 3.2 in case I ever need to download a newer version later I won't have any conflicts. Next we're going to go to where we downloaded our actual Apex software to. On this machine it's on the E drive. And you can use WinZip or whatever you want to. We're going to use the internal Windows extractor to extract the files. So we're going to go extract all. And then we're going to go next. I'm going to tell it where we want to extract the files to. In this case, the D Apex 3.2 directory. And then we're going to tell it to extract. This will take a moment to save time in this tutorial video. We have uh, cut out large blocks of time where there's nothing really going on other than the system extracting files or actually running the installation process to save time. You can actually use the automatic creation that most file extractors have to create the install directory that you want to use. I do it this way as two separate steps just as an extra factor of safety. and then once it's done I don't need to see the extracted files and we can click finish. Now we're ready to install Apex. Apex needs to be installed from a command prompt so we're gonna go start run I'm gonna type CMD and hit enter. This will bring us up a command box. I'm gonna center this a little better here. We then need to navigate to our working directory which is going to be on the D drive in the Apex 3.2 directory and there's a subdirectory that was automatically created when it was extracted and it's called Apex. This is our working directory. Now we're going to connect to the Oracle XE database using the SQL Plus system. We're going to connect as the sys user in the sys DBA role. We do that by typing in SQL Plus SYS in capitals as sysdba and hit enter. It'll ask us for our password which like the other tutorials we've done for this is capital C O N S U L T 1 N G. This will put us at a SQL prompt. Now we're going to type in the the command to install the developers environment for Apex there are a couple of arguments that we have to feed the installer. A breakdown of these arguments and what they mean is included in the full tutorial article. We're going to hit enter. This will take a few minutes. Actual install on this machine that this video was recorded on is about 17 minutes. So I'm going to let a little bit of this flow by the screen and then we'll just jump to the end. Once it's done installing, we're almost done. We just have two small tasks to do. The first is changing the admin password. So I'm going to clear the screen here. Do that in the command prompt by typing CLS and then hitting enter. You can see we're still in our working directory. We're going to reconnect to the database with the same command we used before. And we're going to feed it our password.
and then we're going to type in the command to change the administrator's ac account password in the Apex system. Hit enter, and it'll ask us for a new password. The actual user for this is actual admin, not full administrator. So we've entered it, it'll take a second for it to effect and commit the change. And then the last thing we have to do is do what's called an image load. And it's not image in terms of graphics. That's what Oracle calls it. So we feed it the command, and then we feed it the base path that we extracted to. In other words, the D Apex 3.2. And then we hit Enter. And this will take a moment. And once this is all done, what we need to do now is exit out of the command prompt and the SQL system. Do that by typing exit once to get out of the SQL system. And then exit again to get out of the command prompt. Now what we need to do is we want to check to make sure this was installed properly, so we're going to launch the database homepage. You can do that by going Start, Programs, Oracle Database 10G Express Edition, Go to Database Homepage. This will load the database homepage up in your browser window. Slight difference in logon between this and the, and the before you installed Apex 3.2, now you have to know your workspace. For the purposes of this, your workspace is exactly the same as the user you're going to log in as, in this case, System. It is automatically filled in sys and sys. So basically, we just need to change it to say system for our workspace. And then system for our user. And then our password to log in. And when it logs in, we're going to check the lower right hand corner of the screen. And when it comes up here, I'll zoom in on it and we want to make sure that it says 3.2. There'll be some other numbers after it, that's the exact subrevision, but the main thing is that 3.2. And as you can see, it's fully installed. We hope you enjoyed this video.